he's probably getting his advice from O'Hara as well. O'Hara saying, "Yeah, say he's old man, or say say he's your son now." And then it's just like, ah, oh, just two fools, two fools. But I'll, I'll deal with the then I'll deal with deal with O'Hara after. Is that the plan? Is that the one too? Yeah, yeah. I made the decision to go with someone else. I've gone with him. Terry Flanagan's coach, Steve Malet, 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 yeah, and uh, you know, I think it's a great move, and I, I, I'm thankful that he, he uh, took me on at so late notice. In the future, your kids, 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 they're all going to say, they'll be able to say, my grand, my granddad, my great granddad was British champion. Like you can never be taken away from you. So, you know, I look at it like that. I want to, I want to make my legacy, and uh, you know, it's a, it'll be a dream fulfilled. Like, all right, welcome to The Lowdown, brought to you by Unibet. I'm Dev Sarney, and joining me today is a man who, around this time last year, suffered a very terrible accident, which actually very nearly ended his career. Okay, building on that last combination, we're going to add that up onto it now, yeah? Like, almost like a bolo. And what, what, we want to rotate the hip as much as we can, bring it right through to the chin, add the extra power, this time full speed, follow me. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Cut it. Bad, bro. It's, bad. it's looking bad, you know. It is, of course, Sam Maxwell. How are you, mate? I can't believe that's a year ago. That's mad, yeah? Oh, a year ago. Went viral again. Viral again. Mr. Viral. And um, first things mm-hmm. first, though, I mean... The most important thing is how how is the eye now? I know you tried to sort of say it was all a bit of a joke and that, but like how is it? I'm good. I'm good. I peeled up now. Good good year of healing. I'm fine. Made up a cut got better as well. I yeah. <laughs> that must have been mad when you were seeing yourself on like news stations all, all around the world. News. Yeah, Spanish news, Dominican, like it's crazy. It's fun. it's so funny. You know what? Like I always say that that first bit of lockdown, the first few uh, few weeks. In a couple of months, yeah, it's the, some of the best fun I've had um, at home. This is brilliant. Did you did you see like your following go up your social media? Yeah, it just exploded. But uh, lo- loads of negative, to be honest. Like people saying, "Wow, this this guy's a champion. He's punched himself in the face." <laughs> <laughs> but uh, like it, any any publicity is good publicity. They say, don't they? Yeah, I mean, I look back at it because we we put out something a couple of months ago of all the great, amazing videos that you did over lockdown. Some of the most just some of the most hilarious things I've ever seen. Um, and I can't believe that some people still to this day genuinely believe you punched yourself in the face, gave yeah, yourself a black eye. Yeah. Still getting comments like all the time about it. Um, well, yeah, people also, people just think I lost the plot. I went a bit crazy. And then uh, looking back, some of the videos are mad. <laughs> <laughs> I lost the plot a little bit. <laughs> I think you did as well, but you're back now. And also in lockdown one, you, um, you beat Joe Hughes, mate. Probably the best win of your career, right? Definitely, yeah, we're a real credible opponent who's been to European level, and he's, he's that's the level he's at. And he's shown he's, he can compete at that level. So for me to get a good win over him, good fight, but I feel like I won. Yeah, I won by a few rounds. Um, yeah, it boosted my confidence and it set me up for for this now. Yeah, and this now is March twenty sixth. Uh, after that fight, you said I want the British and Commonwealth titles. You've got a shot. A key Menace Brown, March twenty sixth, BT Sport. Why is this the right fight? right time for you yeah i'm peaking i feel like I, my performance have been building and building over the years and um you know i was really I felt really good against joe hughes and uh yes the right time i'm feeling strong i'm feeling fit and i'm ready i'm ready for this and you know i've been my event these um this shot at, at akeem and i'm gonna take it i'm gonna take it what, what do you think of him as a fighter when you see him and you you watch him fight what do you, what do you make of him yeah, he's just really good at what he does. He's he's he throws a lot of shots. He's very fit. He works hard, and he's very awkward, awkward, or unorthodox, and awkward. And um, he just gets people to fight his fight kind of thing a lot of the time. It looks like, and yeah, I really I respect him. He's got some good uh, names on his resume, and um, you know, we'd be looking to add me to that. You're both fourteen and zero. He's had one knockout. You've had eleven knockouts. Um, how much are you reading into that in terms of the power differential? Do you think it's it's misleading or do you think it's it's true? What do you, what do you think? I think it's a little misleading because his level of opponents, maybe he's not fought as many journeymen as me, but um, I don't think that hides the fact that I definitely um, punch harder than him and, um, you know, the, the power's definitely with me in the fight. But, yeah, it's not... All of us at this level can punch. Like, 
the normal person on the street won't be able to take anyone's punch, whether they got one knockout or no knockouts. Like Hakeem will hit hard and we'll, we'll respect his um, his power. But I think, yeah, definitely the edge is with me in, 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 that, in that department. Well, you talk about the 14 and 0 element of it. I've seen a couple of comments from him where he talks about his 14 and 0 is a, a superior 14 and 0 to yours because he's he's mixed in in higher class. What, what do you think about that? Yeah, maybe so. But um, he's had to, he's had to. He's, he's not done it in the amateurs. He's not done it. So he's had to take gambles. He's had to take mm-hmm. the, the the harder fights to 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 get up there and and, and his shot. Because I in a lot of my um, the way where I'm gone, I've fought a lot of hard fights in the amateurs and then and and my way that way. And um, yeah, I feel like my Frank has planned my career really well and uh, building each fight and, and I'll be ready for him. But he's definitely yeah, he's he's got more um, noticeable names, better resume than me. But he's had to have that or he wouldn't be where he is. Like he's had to have the hard fights, the 50 hit fights, and he's come through them. It looks like there was some um, some Twitter beef between you guys a little while ago he's he's big pals with Ahara Davis who I know you're uh, you're not particularly friendly with um they're good mates and I've, I've seen them kind of tag team you a little bit on on Twitter what happened there yeah yeah it's just like I don't know like sometimes he's a bit respectful and then other times he just goes that goes with the um, Ohara Davis kind of route and just be disrespectful just nasty he's just just weird but um I've lost my uh, Twitter password, so I can't even get on. It's like to answer back at the moment. I'm gutted. Like, I, I, there's no way of getting on. I've, I've lost my email. I've lost uh, the password, so I can't even go back at it, going back and forth with him. But yeah, just that's part of it. And like, um, you know, I'm, I'm ready for ready for all these mind games because he's, he's trying to get any edge he can. But um, you know, I, I'm 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 more mature than this, and I know, and like I know, I I'm going to be at my best, and I'm not going to let anyone get in my head. Well, I mean, you've you've lost your Twitter password. I know that he's tweeted you today, so I'm just going to quickly pull it up for you in case you haven't seen it, because <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw it earlier. So let me get it up. Samuel, in, inv- in inverted commas, Samuel, my young son, I'm coming for you. Make sure you're ready. Be careful what you wish for. Ooh. What do you think of that, Sam? He, he always calls me his young son. I don't get it. He's trying to say I'm his kid or something. Like he's trying to say he's the boss, he's the dad. But uh, yeah, whatever. But I'm, I'll be, I'll be ready. I respect him. And like, uh, we are leaving no stone, stone on turn in the gym. And uh, I'm, I'm not underestimating him at all. But uh, yo, I'm, I'm absolutely buzzing. Frank and the MTK have delivered me uh, this title shot, and I'm, I'm, I won't be denied. I, I won't be denied. It's, it's, this is my time, and I feel like. Hey, you know, I'm going to give it my all and I'm going to come out of that ring with, uh, with being a champion, British and Commonwealth champion. This whole calling you his son thing, um, I'm pretty sure he's also said that you're an old man at the same time, him, him and O'Hara. So, so which one is it, Sam? Are you his son or are you an old man? Uh, that's it. He, he's, he's just trying to say anything. He's trying to get any reaction from me. He's probably getting his advice from O'Hara as well. O'Hara saying, yeah, say he's old man. Or say, say he's your son now. And it's just like, ah, oh, just... Two fools, two fools. But I'll, I'll deal with the key, then I'll deal with deal with Ahar after that. Is that the plan? Is that the one too? That's the plan. Yeah. So, how much would winning the British and Commonwealth titles mean to Sam Maxwell? It mean everything. Like I remember watching people fight for this title when I first got into boxing when I was eleven years old, uh, all growing up and see some amazing fights. Always a brilliant for 50-50 fights in these British titles, and I'm going to be part of that. I'm going to be part of history, and um, like. My coach was saying, no one can take it away from you. Like, in the future, your kids, 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 they're all going to say, they'll be able to say, my grand, my granddad, my great granddad was British champion. Like, you can never be taken away from you. So, you know, I look at it like that. I want to, I want to make my legacy. And um, it's a, it'll be a dream fulfilled. Like, it's prestigious belts. And, uh, you know, the, the, the British. Looking belt as well. Yeah. Which one? The British or Commonwealth? Or British, both? Yeah. The British is the nicest looking, looking belt there is. So many fighters love that belt. What is it? Is it just the, sort of the way it shines? Or what is it about it? Just everything about it. Like the, what it means, it's history and just how it looks. It is just, it's just everything. It looks classy. It, look, it, it's, it doesn't look like a cheap. It looks expensive. It, looks, it, just, looks, it just looks class. It's a brilliant, brilliant belt. And I can't wait to have it around my waist. Will you be looking to um, try and win it outright so that no one ever takes it off you? Or are you um, you're looking to straight away, if you get the win, move on to world? levels I, i'd love to love to win it outright but um it all depends on what, what the opportunities i'm ranked in top 10 in wbo so i get a good win against akeem uh title shot might might op- open up for me so you know you can you can um 
you don't know what opportunity is going to lie, but I'd definitely love to win the, the British titles outright and uh, keep them keep them forever. Keep you, forever. Said it, you said it yourself, you're, you're ranked by the WBO. I think yeah, you might oh, be number 10. 10. You're, 10 you're right yeah. up there. Yeah, yeah, you're right yeah. up there. So do you uh, do you allow yourself to dream? I know you've got a key menace brand in front of you, but this is a loaded division, especially you know, the UK. Very soon could have all the belts. You got Josh Taylor there, Jack Cattrall's knocking about as well. We've got some proper talent. Lewis Ritson's knocking about. Ahora yeah. Davis, your mate. Um, do, you, do you let yourself think about bigger fights ahead, big world honour fights? Definitely, and that's what makes this fight even more important for me. Like, if I get through but once i get through this and, and be the british champion it opens up so much for, so opportunities for me like i'm up there with all these big names and these massive fights and it's, it's life-changing fights and then um, so it just makes this this fight so much more important for me but definitely it's more realistic like it wasn't realistic two three years ago but now i'm top 10 in the wbo a couple win like a win away from from really challenging for for some major honors like um so yeah you do you do drift off but i'm not like looking past the team it's it has to be because of this fight. Uh, then this opens up everything. This is my gold medal now, and then the rewards come after this. After this fight, what do you think of him saying, "Be careful what you wish for" and things like that? And he he says that he's going to smoke you, and he's wanted to fight you for a long time, and you've only just want to fight him. What what do you think of all these comments from Akeem? Yeah, he's just he's a confident lad. Like same, like I might not come out and say it all, but I I I say I'm thinking the same things. I'm thinking I can't wait to get in there with him. I'm, I'm gonna. Um, put on the performance of my life. I'm going to look great in there and everyone's going to, you know, I, I like that people know this is a 50-50 fight and how hard a fight it is for both of us because when I go in and look as good as I want to look and I know I'm, and my coach believes I'm going to look, then, yeah, they have to be, they have to respect me even more. So, yeah, it's just confidence from him. He's, he's, he's more outspoken than me, I guess, but, you know, I've got that same belief in myself and, uh, you know, I think he's the one who's accepted my, in my um, challenge to him. So, he's careful what he's thinking he's getting the win over me. Like, yeah, it's not going to happen. I'm going to get in there and I'm going to, Gonna enjoy this this day and and perform the best I can and yeah I can't wait for it can't wait to put on a show. What's the key to you winning this fight? Fight my fight, you know, with my coach. I'm going through every every scenario of what's gonna happen. What what Akeem's gonna do? What shots he's gonna throw? How's he gonna defend? Like I go through everything. It's simple. If I stick to the plan that I've been given, I will win that fight, and I'll look good doing it. And then the only way it can go against me is if I get dragged into his fight more. Than, than my fight and uh, it's not gonna happen in terms of your your training has everything gone okay everything gone to plan any surprises well yeah it's a bit, bit of a bit of a shake up um because i was with danny vaughan yeah up in mtk scotland but he's the way it's turned out he's with dubai uh, it's just not gonna it never matched up for this camp okay. uh, and um you know i had a big decision to make um uh, carry carry on and do it like Half, I'd half be like kidding myself, we're not getting the best. Maybe go with someone else and um, get through it and, and think, oh yeah, but Danny will be here, Danny will be here. But uh, I made the decision to go with someone else. I've gone with um, Terry Flanagan's coach, Steve Maylett. Maylett, yeah. And um, you know, I think it's a great move. And I, I, I'm I, thankful that he, he um, took me on at so late notice. And I just really enjoyed it. I think we bonded so well. And um, you know, it's, it's a great team. All the lads are that are trained there as well. They're all, it's, I already feel part of the team and um, I'm looking forward to just, just, just performing how I know I can now and uh, how I've been training. It's, a, it's been a tough training. It's not, it wasn't ideal to start with, but now I'm looking at it and I'm happy and more than happy. And every, I'm looking forward to every train session every day. And uh, yeah, I just got, I know it's going to pay off. So is that a long-term move or is that just for this camp? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be a long-term move because I don't know, uh, I don't know the scenario with with how other people are going to be. But um, you know, yeah, I may, maybe it's going to be moving forward with with Steve now. Do you feel like you're learning new things? I mean, any anyone, any boxer that moves from one trainer to the other um, is is going to be taught new things, see things differently. Is that how how you're feeling? Definitely. Um, obviously, he knows it's on short notice, so he doesn't want to change up too much but I'm, I'm learning so much little little tiny things that, that are going to make a, a difference in a fight just they're not major things they're basics and but they will pay off and then um, yeah I'm just enjoying it and I'm learning every day and getting better every day with with what it, what I'm getting asked to do and uh, I just can't wait to put it all into motion and, and, and see the benefits of it. Who are you sparring up there? 
um, been sparring a southpaw. I've been a few weeks ago. I sparred um, Michael Mickinson down in uh, Portsmouth. Yeah. Um, and this week I've been sparring a lad called um, Edward Donovan, and then next week I'm sparring a lad called um, Jermaine, Jermaine uh, Camaro, friend of mine. But uh, like, it's hard finding people who are similar style to to Akeem. So we, we've done the best we can. I think Jermaine's gonna be gonna be a good spar next week. And then. Uh, yeah, it's just about getting the rounds in now, getting the sharpness. My fitness is there, so about getting getting my eye in and, and you know, finishing this camp on a, on a massive high. And then, um, yeah, getting the rounds in, and it's, it's brilliant. Can you knock him out? I think I can, yeah. You know, with, with Steve's putting on me that I don't need to put power in shots, and, you know, that's power's there. It's always there in me. Yeah, and best of it, and I, and I know I can hit him. And the good thing about me is I know I can carry that power from the first round to the last round. Like, I've shown that in, in my fights. Um, I can definitely knock him out. So he's got he's got something for him to worry about from the round one to round twelve. And do you think you haven't got something to worry about between rounds one and twelve? He doesn't have that equaliser. He doesn't have the, the same kind of one, um, more thunderous one punch kind of power as me. But yeah, enough to respect. You don't want to be getting it off anyone. You know, he, he throws a lot of shots, so you're taking the, taking a lot of shots. That's that's gonna that's gonna damage you as well. So. You know, I'm, fo- I'm focused on, I don't want to be yes, and I want to, I want to see him and I don't want to be yes. That's if, he's wa- if he's watching this, uh, if he's watching this interview, any, any message? I mean, he's been sending out all sorts of messages. He's been, he's been tweeting you and you've not seen them because you've lost your password. He's been going on, on IFL TV. He's been saying um, all sorts of things. Daddy's going to discipline you and all sorts. If he's watching this, what, what, what have you got to say to uh, Akeem Menis Brown? I was going to think about this. Yeah. Um... It's not me to say anything like I'm not, I'm not, that's not my personality, but I just want to say, yeah, I, he's saying, be careful what you wish for. I, I, this is the biggest opportunity of my life and I'm not going to let it slip. I will not be denied on the night and then, um, you know, bring your A game. I'm bringing the best me and then um, the best man will win. And I believe that will be me. The best man will definitely win. Sam, give me your final prediction then for March the 26th, live on BT Sport. What can we expect in there? You're going to see, uh, Brilliant performance by Sam Maxwell, and he's going to take the fight on a clear points win. Okay, all right. Anything you want to add? Anything final before I let you go? Yeah, just a shout out to my sponsors: Britannia Fleet Removals, Foot Asylum, Agrama Networks, and uh, Global Green CBD. I'm a mate, uh, Phil Harden at Prestige Skills. I'm ringside what? boxing. And ringside boxing, you can't be forgetting them. One final thing, just remembered before I let you go: Taylor Ramirez. How does that go? Uh, I rate Taylor very highly. I've not seen much from Ramirez, but um, just Taylor is phenomenal. And like I think someone said, this, the combined record of his last set of opponents was like ninety four and zero or something stupid. Yeah. And uh, you know, I think he's he's just phenomenal. He's like, he's the best talent in Britain, the best talent in the world. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping he comes through, and I, I think he will. Future fight, huh? fight champion. And I, I fought him. You know what I mean? I had a good yeah. fight with him in the amateurs. You mean? So and he's unified world champion. You know inspirational do you think you'll get hold of him again do you think you'll your your paths will cross yeah i'm top 10 in the wbo you might take you might take a gamble and pick me off the list so yeah you never know you never know you never know all right sam well i'll let you go thank you very much for joining me today on the lowdown and uh we'll we'll see you soon see you soon cheers mate i'm careful on all the um punch bag stuff because you'll end up (laughs) <laughs> well, might hurt yourself. Yeah. Just, just be careful. All right? we, got, we, we can't lose this fight as well, for God's sake. All right. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Take care. Nice one, Dev. Bye-bye. Cheers, mate.